What's going on guys? Welcome back to Subnautica with Mods. You're here with Screaming Alien. Now there was a bit of an issue. I had already previously recorded a video. Uh, as you can see we have the timer that's showing the sunbeam is going to be here in 15 minutes. Uh, that's how we s I, I originally was going to be starting uh, part 12 of Subnautica with Mods. I'm pretty sure this is part 12. I had gone as far as uh, starting to build the aquarium as well before I realized that I was actually missing a lot more ingredients, uh, materials that I thought I was missing. I wasn't nearly as prepared and of course my habitat builder ran out of battery and I don't have any extras with me. I'm pretty sure there's no battery charger in here. No, I didn't put one in here. <sighs> and then I realized that my mic had been muted the whole time anyway so none of it even mattered. So we've got 13 minutes left. It doesn't take 13 minutes to get over there. But I did want to get up on a high perch to watch it happen. And apparently, according to one of the time capsules I picked up, the birds might try and lift me and throw me off of there. I'm not sure how much truth to that there really is. But I'm kind of curious. I'd like to find out. So this episode, next episode, when we come back, I'm going to have all the materials I need to, build, uh, to start building this... Uh, aquarium and that's what we'll do but this episode we're actually just going to go over to the mountain island and uh and have fun with the sunbeam landing and uh, now it's probably going to be a shorter video because that's all we're doing today but uh again i already tried recording this video and and i had all the filler that would have gone in between and that's all gone so this is what you get instead we're we're gonna go uh over there Okay, so I just needed to do this because this. Some of these mods really well. It's the I think it's the I might I might just get rid of the. Um, there we go. This is what I want. I might just get rid of. Let's let's change it. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I might just get rid of the the home whatever the home beacon mod I forget what it's even called now because it screws up all my beacons I don't th I think like because it's stupid I don't have the ones that I should on here like there we go I had to it's this it's the habitat beacon that's screwing everything up uh, I might get rid of that mod I'll keep the custom beacons mod now look oh, this stupid thing is stuck on my screen like it's uh, it's really stupid and frustrating and I've got to play with it every single time where's okay so now I'm looking for no I see none of them are working the whole the whole system is just broken right now I'm turning these off I'm turning these stupid things off cuz I'm running out of time and I don't have what is that oh man you can tell I'm getting, oh, I turned these on, that's why. Oh, wow. I'm getting frustrated now with these, this stupid, stupidness. This is so dumb. Turn off that. Okay. I've got all the habitat beacons off. I've got my marker. That's just the way it's going to stay. Okay. Aurora Rendezvous. Oh, that's the wrong. No, no, no. I'm going after the sunbeam. The sunbeam, not the aurora. I don't know if I... Uh, do I have coordinates for that? Did he give me coordinates for that? i got to start getting over there. I mean, it doesn't take 10 minutes, but... That's uh, aurora rendezvous. I'm looking for... See, it might not even be here. I don't know if I got one. No. Okay. I'm looking for Sunbeam. That's on the mountain island. I can get there, no problem. But I thought that we were. I was supposed to get a bit of a a, a location. I could have sworn, but again, the the mod might be screwing it up. Oh, there it is, Sunbeam. There we go. Okay, I do have it. Perfect. And, uh, can oh boy, we're still pretty shallow over here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the habitat beacon mod. I think that's what it's called. That's the one that has that little extra power station in my habitat as well. Uh, which 
basically just gives it 200 backup power but I have a nuclear reactor in there so that's essentially useless and uh, I've also yeah I like the custom beacons better than I care for the like I'll just I'll just make a a beacon you know what I mean and I'll just put that underneath my habitat like you, like anybody else would do because that's really all it does it gives me oh it lets me color the base too so we might not have a colored base anymore it's not really the end of the world though um, unless if I can turn the beacon off and still have the mod installed uh, have the colored base and stuff but it doesn't screw up my custom beacons then hey yeah for sure we'll have it all we'll keep it all there but um, I'll try that first. I'll just turn the, the habitat beacon off completely and maybe that'll fix it. But if that doesn't fix it, I'm going to have to get rid of the mod because it's causing me more hassle than, than it's worth. Uh, hopefully, I don't have any major problems with the, uh, with the custom beacon mod by itself. I think those two just don't seem to work together very well, which is unfortunate. But that's sometimes just the way things are. Okay, so we're already out here. Like I said, it doesn't take 10 minutes to get out here. But I do want to try and see if I can get up to a high perch. Uh, see if A, the birds actually try and carry me away. And B, I'm also curious to see... Uh, this has always been a good spot for me to get off of. Uh, I just want to see uh, a different angle of the sunbeam coming down. I am going to also dump my inventory... Because I'm not entirely sure, like, I could fall and die, and I don't want to lose the stuff that I've got. What was that? We're not under attack, are we? I know there's still a lot of leviathans out here, but they don't usually come around to this part. I've been, I don't know if I've ever, I've been super lucky, or I've honestly just picked a good spot. But they never seem to actually bother me here. I think this is the first time I've ever brought the Cyclops all the way here. <laughs> Actually, that looks so cool though with it on the land like that. Oh, it might even come down at night time. I'm not exactly sure. I can scan the birds? I didn't know that. Get over here. Or did I? Have I done this before? I don't know. They seem to be flying away though. Not making it easy for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Come back. I feel like I could go up there somehow. I feel like doing it in at night is probably more difficult than if I was to wait till the day. And also that spot that I was trying to go up looked like one of my best bets. The only problem is it's dark and I can't see anything. So if there's a better place that I could have been jumping. I have no idea where it is. That's cool. I like that. That's good. Good, good view. There's no way up there. Why do they have this here? Is this like I could build a base here? That'd be kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna just hang out here, and hopefully I can see it from here. Um, because I don't, I'm not getting up there. Hello, daytime. Or am I? Am I? Oh no! Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We're doing it. Oh, I've got a minute. No, this is not happening. No, it's not happening. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. So, instead of that, we're just going to stand up here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that's, that's good. I see, like, the edge. All right, we got 30 seconds. <clears throat> 30 seconds uh, before the sunbeam. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. I can't see it from there, so I don't. I'll take the damage. It's the gun. It's the gun that's making the noise. It's moving. Uh, we're not missing this too, damn it. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out. There, there we go. Okay, this is... Atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? 
Where are you? There you are. Okay. We didn't get to the top of the mountain to watch this. But hey, we made it. Nope, too late. Man, they like came down right on top of it. <laughs> At least it was just a glancing blow for the Aurora. This is just like direct impact, total ship destruction. It's too bad some of the pieces don't fall like within range. It'd be kind of cool. Okay, so we got through that then. At least didn't get to watch it from the top. I didn't see any of these bird things trying to lift me off, so that that never really happened. Um, I still haven't scanned one. Stupid things are kind of hard to get. But, there you have it. So the sunbeam is gone. The crew, they're all dead. There's no questioning that at all. Do those burn out? Yeah, of course they do. And the other gun is going to take its place back where it was. Yes! Sky Ray! Scan, scan, scan! I got it! Can I kill it? Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Get over here! Yeah, that's right. You better fly away. Okay. Gun's back to normal. Fantastic. Have I not gone in here yet? Ah, shit. Had I known that, I would have brought a green tablet with me. Could have done that. That's fine. Okay, so there you have it. The sunbeam is blown up. That was pretty much all. Um, yeah, not much of a video this time. Had had it worked out originally and everything, you know, worked the way it was supposed to, uh, there would have been more. But, uh, yeah, sometimes things just uh, don't go as planned and... You know, whatever. It happens. No big deal. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more Subnautica with mods, you just let me know. And uh, if you want to see more videos in general, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know whenever we post new ones pretty much every single day. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.